Shalom, shalom. It's your brother Waramia. Back with another lesson, Lord willing, it be edifying. I want to start by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Moharaka Kodash, Baraka the Yahweh, Baraka the Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught us this truth. And shalom to the 144,000, the men of the Lord you see on the highways and byways, prophesying in the name of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Also in the correct doctrine of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Also, want to send a shalom to the one third men, women, and children that will escape the judgments of Yahweh by Shem Shah by their faith. I just want to bring out another lesson through the spirit power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. Um, and just blow the, blow the trumpet on this uh, information, man. We've been seeing this this um, chase glitch, which you can you can see this is all it has Esau hands written all over it, man, because they're giving Jake a, a false hope of hitting a, a jackpot or getting some type of money for free and it's all it's setting them up for esau to roll on them, man because they're not going to give you anything where you can benefit yourself it's never going to happen man it's never happened it's never going to happen so they're getting you this um giving jacob um a false hope and basically just putting them in a trap man they laying a trap for you to fall into man and it's all this is being set up to get you to take this MOTB, this is which is the mark of the beast, man. Because they're seeing that we, we can get them by this small thing by giving a, a glitch and putting all this money in their account. Just imagine if we give them an opportunity to take a mark and give them all this money. So it's all it's all a stumbling block for you, man. And we're just going to bring it out through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, man. Because not only that is happening, they have the Venezuelans in, in Colorado, Chicago, and they're setting them up as well so they can bring in martial law, man. They can create chaos because their slogan is order out of chaos. So Esau is showing you his hand, man. You can't fall into his trap. Let's go. Let's start here with this video and then we hear some scriptures and Lord willing to be at a fire. Oh, what the fuck, man? I know I shouldn't live through to this shit, man. What the fuck, bro? Bro told me tap in, bro. Bro said he got the drop a day before this shit got happened, bro, with like, yo, 50 tap in. No queue up. I, 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 I'm like, I bet this is my only shit, bro, my only motherfucking account, bro, and they gonna whack this shit. Bro, the fuck? All right, so, the fuck, man? What y'all need to do, man, y'all follow me, y'all make this shit go viral, man. This chase glitch shit. Don't do this shit, man. Y'all don't do this shit. Y'all save y'all account and get your money. Otherwise, man, this shit is a wow. Don't do it. Hear ye, hear ye. I'm out. We all agree. And see, that's what happens, man. Esau has, has uh, put a glitch in. Where Jake can put in a number that he wants and, and get the money out, man. But as you've seen, this guy, it hit him all of a sudden and he wasn't able to get none of his money. Basically, he just, in the, he's in a negative, man. He, he, he went in a hole trying to get, get some money, man, being greedy, man. But Jake Jake won't learn until it's too late, man. See, uh, this right here, he says, this, these guys got the money. He says, Chase Bank. Got folks doing the wildest thing, and that's true, man. They got they, some of them people getting money, some of them make, man. But it's all a trap, man. Just like the that um that um that government assistant where everybody was doing the scam, trying to get the money out and set up fake accounts. And Esau is the devil, man. He wants you to set up because he he's going to pull the trigger on you because you fell into his trap, man. He's gonna pull the switch, and them gates are gonna fall on you, man.
Kick the Chevs, kick the Chevs. We having a Chevy party later. Bring all the Chevy honors up. I don't even like posting my accomplishments in life. For all the niggas that ain't want to give me they Chev, eat a dick. You up 100,000? Everybody going to eat tonight? Blue Hunnets, blue collar. See, there you go. You're getting the money out. Some on me is and some on me. But it's all a trick, man. It's all a scam to get you to go down there and get your information. They got everything lined up on you, man. Esau's not going to let you get a... <laughs> Get a hundred thousand, ten thousand free dollars, man. He has you set up all your information. He has your social security number, driver license, where you stay, at the wherever you, you might have set it up somewhere else. But he, he's coming, man. He's always used these tricks on our people, man. Digital currencies isn't going to happen when they have the pyramid symbolism in the background that's on the back of the dollar at the Trump meeting. You're delusional. If you actually believe what he's saying is true, it's, it's not because Russia already started their central bank digital currencies September 1st to circumvent the sanctions, to go around the sanctions. This is a complete disruption in the global banking system. Do you not see the, the glitch in the Chase Bank? People are lining up to get free money because of a banking gl glitch in the Chase Bank. That's all that was needed. They even put this message in a movie like about a year ago, two years ago. All it's going to take is a glitch in the banking system for them to lose trust and switch. And you think college is going to fucking save you? You're done. If you don't have cryptocurrency, you're done. You think I'm saying this shit just to say it? What the fuck you think is going to happen in the next three years? Look how fast artificial intelligence is rising now. By the way, in September, the first artificial general intelligence supercomputer is going live. So you have it, man. Digital currency, what he, what his hopes is in a digital currency, that's not going to happen, man. Esau is going to set up his digital currency, not for you to have your own digital currency outside of the, the system. And that's, that's, he's delusional, man. But the point is, they set the, that glitch up before, and they just brung it out, man. They just brung it out in one of their trick bags, man. So that's one of the major things that's going on in the so-called black community, Jake community, man. Because they want you to fall into the trap and think you're going to get some free money and they're going to just basically set you up to get the RFID microchip, man, to fall into the, the plans of them bringing out a new currency, man. And which is the MOTB, man. We see the plans of Esau right before your eyes be telling you what's going to happen and tell you to watch out for the watch out for his traps. Now, this right here is the, uh, the biker gangs, what they call them, Hell Angels, on his way out to Aurora, Colorado, man. And like I said, man, this man is a devil, man. And let's look up Aurora before we even play this video. Because I looked it up. And in the Greek, it means new, I think it was new beginnings. Because this man has set up his NWO. And he's moving his hand over his, um, his plans, man. He's, he's working, man. I said, like, he's working. So you can see that his hand is all over. What's going on? So he brung up the migrants to bring in civil unrest, chaos, so he can bring in his martial law, man. Lock the countries down. That's his plan, man. That's what he's always had up his sleeve. And the people are falling right into the trap, man. Because I heard that uh, you had a couple of people, that's, you know what I'm saying, not all the migrants are like, going rogue or rebelling against the system. It's just a couple people, man, that's, that's been oppressed. They feel like they don't have nothing here. So they're breaking in, breaking in, doing, breaking in people's houses and robbing them. You know what I'm saying? Some of them say they, 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 they are kidnapping kids, but I, I can't say it's all of them because I ain't seen them. My area hasn't really went full, full blown yet. But the point is, they use a couple of incidents to make it seem like everybody is doing it so they can cause a division between the migrants and the so-called patriots of Babylon and great, man. It's all a trap, man. He has to bring in this, this NWO, man. And he's going to do it by order out of chaos. 
So I want to I look this up. It says uh, late Middle East origin original originally in Aurora from Latin dawn goddess of the dawn. Drop it down to the Greek. It says the God of the North Wind. See that? This is all the things that Esau worships, man. The God of the North Wind. And this is also, it says the new beginning. Let me see where it's, let me see, simple definition. Let's see what it is. A bright color bands of light visible around Earth, uh, geomagnetic geo magnetic poles caused by solar when in acting with particles of the earth's magnetic field it's a deeper meaning to it okay this might be it right here i think this is roman goddess of dawn see that dawn let's look up dawn now because esau he has these gods that he worships and he invokes them by bringing in different sacrifices Different, um, different, um, plans he has for his gods. I don't know all, you know, I don't know the details of what he does and how he worships his God. But the thing is, he uses these gods to bring in different policies and different agendas. It says, Don, to condemn to a punishment or fate. See that? The con to condemn to hell. See that? And that's what he's doing to, the, to these American people, man. These Babylonians condemning them to hell. Hell meaning a hellish-like condition. All hell breaking loose. Chaos. To condemn vigorously and offend. Oh, I don't know. I ain't never even seen this word before. Let me see what this is. Let me see why. It says, having or showing a tendency to be easily angered. See that? And that's what he's doing. Easily angering you. Irascibly. Irascibly. He says, for some real or fascist, uh, fancied fault or defect, bring to bring ruin. That's what uh, Aurora, uh, going into dawn, but this all goes into uh, the Aurora. To swear at curse. That's what Don, man. Damn. Oh, damn, I'm sloppy. I'm all in. I'm wrong. Sloppy. Don, that's what I wanted. Don, Salak. To, 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 to begin to grow light as the, the sun, the sun, the sun, the sun shines. To, to begin to appear or develop. To begin to perceive or understand, understood the first appearance of light in the morning, followed by sunrise, the dawn, the beginning. So it's the beginning of their new world order, man. Slocky about damn. I thought it was, I was done. I'm sorry, Slocky. But you, you get the gist of what I was trying to bring out, but damn, <laughs> it, it, it is. He's damned anyway, but going back to here, the aurora. Let me see what is what does it symbolize? See symbol of hope and renewal. See that the NWO man. Here we go. The Greek the Greek mythology. The character the character aurora was the sister of the sun and moon gods, and she would fly across the sky in a colorful chariot. To signal the start of a new day. And that's what this is, this is all about. The aurora. All chaos breaking loose. The symbol of a new day, man. Similar to the Roman, the Romans believed that aurora was the goddess of the dawn. And we just, fought, we just found out what dawn means. The goddess of the dawn, man. A new day. So they're showing you that the NWO is here. Let's get to the... This is a small video just showing you all the people going up there because they've been in the trick of the snare of Esau, man.
headed to Aurora, man. The new dawn, man. A new day. And we're warning through the spirit and power of Yahweh about Shem Yahushua, man. They're using these migrants in different places. They're giving them guns. They're giving them all type of... They're giving them uh, immunity so they won't get in trouble. I mean, it's, it's, we can see the plans Esau has working out, man. Man, easy, man. Chicago gang bangers are shocked at the type of crimes that the Venezuelan gang members are committing in Chicago. Check this out. You've actually said that Venezuela... And I say fair use, fair use. This information will be used for educational purposes only. Um, this is a, a video of uh, Vlad, so I, I ain't going to even play it, man, because I know it's going to get flagged. But the point is, he's a so-called Chicago gang member. He's saying they're taking over in Chicago, man. And like I said, they're going to use those migrants to to uh, bring out uh, their agenda, man. Because, you know what I'm saying, and now all of a sudden they're, they're taking the things that, that was given to them and promised to them away. So that is why these people are rebelling against Esau and his system, man. And it goes to show you that this is this man's plan all along, man. To bring them up here to cause chaos here in Babylon the Great. And you people won't understand it till it's too late, man. Why you bring them up? Why did Biden and, and Kamala Harris open the borders the way they did? As you see, it says viral, uh, viral Chase Bank glitch reportedly results in negative balances and account holes. So everybody has their money and try to get their money out, man. They're not going to be able to get no direct deposit. And that's why everybody is going to that MOTB, man. They're setting it up perfectly, man. The CBDCs. This is a meme where the guy lost 31000 in his, in his uh, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking it's probably his checking account and then 7000 in his savings account. I mean, I don't know for sure, but it says... Due to a, a account, so I'm assuming this is two separate accounts. But you see, Jake is finished, man, because he's falling out the wickedness of Esau Edom, man. Now let's get to a couple of scriptures I have lined up that I want to bring out through the spirit and power you have about Shimei Yahusha, man, because we are show, we are showing you through the spirit the Lord is letting pushing Esau to move and let him do his work, man. Ultimately, to catch two thirds of his people and judge them. This is Psalms 37, and I'm going to start at verse uh, 12. Just get the point. I ain't going to make it long at all. It says, the wicked plotteth against the just and gnasheth upon him with his teeth. See that? He's plotting against you. This is what he's doing, man, to get you to fall into his trap. Yahweh by Shem shall shall laugh at him, for he seeth that his day is come. See, his day is coming. See, Esau's day is coming, man. That's why he's trying to get his... NWO put in place before his day comes. Because you how about Shimmy out shining the chariots, man? You've been seeing them everywhere, man. Everywhere. It says, the wicked have have drawn out the sword and have bent their bow to cast down the poor and the needy, man. See that? The only reason why Jake trying to get some money because they're poor and needy, man. But this is the hand of Esau going to work against you, man. He's showing you his sword, man. He's using it against you, man. And to slay such as be of an upright conversation. Their sword shall enter into their own heart and their bow shall be broken. And that's what we're telling our people to repent to the Lord. Because this man's bow is going to be broken, man. He is going to come down. But you don't want to get caught in the trap of Esau while this man is in power, man. You don't want the wicked to have power over you, especially in these days, man. You repent and turn to the Lord then the Lord is going to have mercy upon you, man. This is Proverbs 6 and verse 18. It says, And heart that deviseth... Let's lock it. Let me slow down. It says, And heart that deviseth wicked imaginations, feet are that be swift to run to mischief. And our people are man, quick to run to mischief, man. New Living Translation, A heart, which is mine, that plots evil foot... Feet that run, that race to do to do wrong, man. And our people run to do wrong. So somebody must have told told you about the glitch. Do this right here, what the guy said. Do this right here, man. You're going to have 10 bands or 50 bands in your pocket. And then look what happened. You end up with $31,000 in the hole, man. 7000 in savings, I'm assuming. The news translation says, A mind deviseth wicked plans. Oh man, I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give me a car with this. I'm gonna do this with this. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give me some jewelry. Feet that are quick 
to do wrong. And the men of the Lord have been prophesying Esau's who the white man is, the so-called white man is, the bankers. We've been telling you through the spirit for a long time, starting with the apostles and elders of Great Millstone on down. Been telling you from the get-go, man. You cannot trust this man, man. He is in control of the banks. He's not going to let you get no <laughs> 10, bank, 10 bands out. And then not only that, though, won't that be suspicious? Suspicious? You line it up around the corner to, to, um, to get out money that they know ain't in your account, man. But ultimately, they're going to push the button on that, on the banking system altogether. They're going to push the button that you won't be able to get any money out of that bank. You ain't going to be able to get no money out of that bank, man. Because that's all it takes is a push of a button. And that's why, he, that's why Jake thought it was so easy because it was a glitch. They just had cyber attacks. <laughs> And, and, and if they did, can do a cyber attack and then get the infrastructure built back up, don't you believe? Don't you? Be, you best believe they can do a glitch and make you feel like you got a million dollars or whatever in your pocket, knowing that you don't got that type of money, man. That's why everybody got arrested for the PPP loans, man, because they knew that they didn't have no business set up. They knew they knew all that before they even tried to get the money. But Jake ran with it, man. A lot of Jakes got locked up behind that that mess, man. This is Proverbs one. Let me get this in the NLT. This is Proverbs 1. And I'm going to start at verse uh, 15. It says, My child, do not go along with them. Stay far away from their paths. They rush to commit evil deeds. They hurry to commit murder. If a bird sees a trap being set, see that? You should have seen these Edomites setting this trap for you, man. The banking system, money, man. That's the one thing Esau cares about more than anything is his money, man. Because it's his God, man. He says, if a bird sees a trap being set, it knows to stay away. See that? If you see a trap being seen, you're being set, man, you're not going to get anything free, man. If a bird sees a trap being set, he knows to stay away. And that's what we want you from, man. Something that easy, something that easy to get, man. You need to stay away from it, man. But these people set an ambush for themselves. And Esau is ultimately going to get judged by what he's done to the children of Israel. But if you if you run into the trap, you you set up a, a failure, man. These people set an ambush for themselves. They are trying to get themselves killed. Hey, man, that ain't going to do them. But let you, are you, you in the hood, man. You got this, you got that. That ain't going to do them. But... Have another Jake envious of you that he didn't do it and have him try to kill you, man. Or, you know what I'm saying? Or, or try to rob you, man. Such is the fate of all who are greedy for money. See that? you greedy for money, man. All this right here, man. Because you are greedy for money, man. You're going to be judged by that, man. This is Esau's blessing, man. This is his world, man. Such is the fate of all who are greedy for money. It robs them of life. See that? What we're giving you the life, the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of how about Shem Yahushua, that's going to give you life, man. Knowing that this man is going down, man. Knowing that our kingdom is coming. But if you want to join on the Esau, you're going to suffer the fate of him. And you're going to take his mark. And you're going to be destroyed in the presence of the angels and in the presence of Yahweh by Shem Yahushua, man. This is Jeremiah 4, and I want to get this one in the GNT, man. And these other verses, I mean, these other uh, translations, just, it just hit a little different. This is uh, Jeremiah 4, in verse 22, it says, Yahweh Shem Yahushua says, my people are stupid. They do not know me. That's plain, man. They see us on the highways and byways. They see these lessons online. They see it on all social media platforms. But you still haven't seek seek the Lord yet? Yahweh Shem Yahushua says, my people are stupid. And that's what the Lord is telling two-thirds of his people, man. Y'all stupid, man. He had his men out here constantly, man, preaching the word to you. My people are stupid. They have they they do not know me. They are like foolish children. They have no understanding. And our people have no understanding, man. They even think that that. You can go and get some free money from the bank, man. It's, that's beyond uh, not having any understanding, man. 
They are experts at doing what is evil. That's our people, man. They're stupid, and they're experts at doing what is evil. So that goes to show you who the children of Israel are, man. You blacks, Hispanic, and Native Americans. But fa failures at doing what is good. See that our people are failures at what's doing, do, uh, at what is to do what's good. They are failures at it, man, because they see they don't see themselves prospering. So wickedness is the, the closest thing they can do to have them some type of hope in what the world, in, in what they say the world is, man. See, when you have this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, you know what the world really is about, man. And you see what's going to happen to it, man. The Lord is going to take down Babylon the Great, man. America is not going to be prosperous, not going to grow. It's not going to be all these things that they taught us from school up. Having a good job, having a career, going to college, your kids going to college, them, them playing sports, and that's over with, man. That's over with. The Lord pulled a plug on Babylon the Great a long time ago, man. On that prospering and growing, and even though your churches talk about that, they don't they don't have the truth. They don't have the knowledge of Yahweh by Shimei Osha, man. But the Lord has pulled the plug on Babylon the Great a long time ago, man. It's just our people haven't taken heed to it, man. And when you come into this truth, you see instantly the Lord is not dealing with this place, man. You see through the Spirit the Lord is not dealing with this place, and he never has. But if you want to be joined on the Esau and you think it has hope, you're going to be destroyed with your oppressor, man. This is Jeremiah 5 and verse 20. It says, declare this in the house of Jacob and publish it in Judah, saying, hear now this old foolish people. And without understanding, which have eyes and see not. See that? Nothing is happening good here, man. We're telling you through the Spirit of the Lord, and you can see it going down, but you still won't turn to your by Shem Shah. Which have ears and hear not. Fear ye not me, said the Lord. <laughs> you don't fear the Lord yet. The Lord is showing you the dollars for the crash. He's showing you that the mark of the beast is coming. He's showing you that World War III is at the doorsteps. All hell is about to break loose. He's showing you that he has this place slated for judgment. He says, will you not tremble at my presence, which have placed a sand, have placed the sand for a bound of the sea by a perpetual decree? So basically he's explaining to you, the Lord created everything, man. He even placed sand at the beaches for the water would not pass the sand, man. That it cannot pass it, and though the ways thereof thereof cross themselves, yet can ye can they not prevail? Though they roar, yet can they not pass over it? So the Lord is explaining to you, everything is set up for a purpose. That's the whole meaning of what Jeremiah was bringing out. Everything the Lord has done was set up for a purpose, man. This is the way the Lord had it set up. He had Babylonian grace set up for us for punishment. And we was not we was not going to get a savior until he sent his son. And we still are here in captivity. And his son has not yet came. And we've never been able to have a, 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 a leader to lead us out of here, man. So the Lord has set this thing up perfectly, man. For us to be here in captivity, learn our lesson, repent to him, and return back to him and prophesy to his people to come back to him. Because we have woken up and came back to him. He says, but this people have a revolting and rebellious heart. See that? Their minds are revolting and rebellious. They are revolted and gone, man. So there's no hope for Jake, man. He's finished. Two-thirds of our people are sealed for destruction. And we're just seeking for the hopeful elect. Those that have like mind, uh, are like-minded as, uh, as us. That the Lord might have put a spirit on you to, for you to even just have a glimpse into this truth that's all we're seeking for but we know the other the two-thirds of our people are revolted and gone man they're finished and this is to be that this this will be their last stop man here in babylon the great because they're not they will not enter into the chariots man they'll be the part of the sand and the ashes of babylon the great man this is a uh, psalms 5 and uh, I'll start at verse 1. This is Psalm of David. Give ear to my words. 
O Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, consider my meditation. Hearken unto the voice of my cry, my king, my power, for unto thee will I pray. See that? We're, we're telling you through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, pray to the Lord, man. That's where our hope is. That's where our, 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 our passion is towards, man. Our Lord, man. And that's who we pray to. My voice shall thou hear in the morning, O Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, in the morning will I direct my prayer unto thee and will, will look up. He says, for thou art not a power that have pleasure in wickedness. So we know that everyone is doing wicked. The Lord is putting you in place to be judged, man. He has no pleasure in the wicked. You getting high and doing this, you, you being a whore. Or you do, the Lord ain't got no pleasure in that. And first thing Jacob say, the God was with me. I got a house, the job was with me. Man, the Lord has no pleasure in wickedness, man. Neither shall evil dwell among thee. It's like it, dwell with thee. He says, the foolish shall not stand in thy sight. Thou hatest all workers of iniquity. See, the Lord hate all workers of iniquity, man. And we're telling you to repent, man. Because we was out there. We can't say, we can't be hypocrites and say we never did nothing wrong, never did nothing wicked. We was the same exact way, man. So the Lord set up examples for you. This man, like my town, man, everybody know, you know what I'm saying, um, you know, where I came from, and, you know what I'm saying, and how, you know what I'm saying, how I got to where I'm at now. And everybody knows that I'm an Israelite, man. In my town, everybody knows, man. They, they see me. It ain't like I'm wearing a um, wearing my garment out in public or anything, but they know how I've been standing for many, many years, man. Especially the people that know me. He says, The foolish shall not stand in thy sight. Thou hatest all workers of iniquity. Thou shalt destroy them that speak leasing, Yahweh Shem Yahushua will, will abhor the bloody and deceitful man. We know ultimately Esau Edom is going to be judged, man. But our people want to join under Esau and follow after his ways. He says, but as for me, I will come into the, thy house in the multitude of thy mercy. And in thy fear will I worship toward thy holy temple, man. That's what we're telling you through the spirit, man. Come into this temple, man. Come into this congregation, of the living. Lead me, O Yahweh by Shem Yahushah, in thy righteousness because of my enemies. See that? Even though you, you Jakes, don't want to repent and return to the Lord, you still have enemies. Esau still hates you. You still are the children of Israel. So he's not changed, man. Read that in Psalms 83, man. You are his enemy, man. Make thy way straight before thy face, man. So we want to meet our, our path. We want to be made straight before the Lord's face because the Lord is not going to have mercy on you if you haven't repented and returned unto him. And, and uh, hopefully you repent and return to the Lord and be a part of the hopeful elect, man. Because judgment is coming, man. If you believe it, if you think, of, if you think it is or not, man, it's coming. And the Lord is not holding back wrath, man. He's not going to hold back wrath. This is Job 5 and uh, verse 2. This is Job 5 and verse 2. It says, For wrath, for wrath killeth the foolish man, and envy slayeth the silly one. I have seen the foolish taking root. See that? We have seen the foolish taking root, man. Esau has established and got everything going for himself, man. But suddenly, I curse his habitation. And that's what we did through the Spirit of the Lord, man. Sending up curses on Esau, man, that his, his kingdom will be destroyed. But our people are foolish. And they can't see that the Lord is doing what was done to us, to Esau, man. Bringing them under them curses. And finna judge him, man. So Lord, when it was edified, I'm in it there. Shalom.